Today I'll be teaching you guys how you can put stars and planets in your music videos. Oh God, you did it! Really? What is it, Matt? What's up guys, my name is Devin Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. For this tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys a great, fun way to just spice up your video settings and make your music videos feel a lot more astral and sci-fi. Might I add, you can do this with pretty much any objects. They don't have to be planets or stars. You can add spaceships in your skies, floating cities, clouds, and etc. For this effect, all you'll be needing is After Effects, and the video shots can be either on a tripod or handheld. Tripod obviously works best, but before we get started, if you guys could please hit the like button and subscribe. It's free, all this content is free, so it'd really, really mean a lot if you guys could. But without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, guys, so now that we're finally inside of After Effects, what you're gonna wanna do is obviously have your clip loaded in. Now, make sure the clips that you have have a nice like canvas uh, area of the sky, I guess. So right here in this top left corner, we have a nice area where we are going to be able to place our planets. Now, now, uh, you're also going to want to make sure you have your planet, um, what's it called, assets going on right here. So as you can see, I have a couple um, items right here. And now a key thing before you even start is you want to make sure that your planet icons are, are have a black background. So planets like this, this blue one, we're going to probably start off with this one um, and, and this other Saturn one. So usually like a dark, majority dark picture and, and there's like some bright highlights. That, those typically work the best with the blending modes that we're going to be using uh, in After Effects and whatnot. So I'm just going to delete these for now. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come over here to your main clip and then hit track camera. Now you're going to wait for this to load out. It might take a minute. So I'm just going to speed this up. And once that is done, then you can see we have, you're going to have a whole bunch of uh, 3D flowers. I like to call them the 3D flowers because that's what they are. And if you zoom in, you can see a target hovers above them. But we're actually not going to be using the target today. Uh, instead, we're going to be coming over here, click onto your, your clip again, and then hit create camera. Now you'll see you'll have a second layer. It's going to say 3D camera and you're not going to be able to see anything because it's a virtual 3D camera. Um, but basically what that means is it's tracking all the 3D motion that's going on in your video right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come back here to our project panel and we're going to finally drag in our planet. So drag in your planet, scale it to where you want it to be, hold shift to drag the edges. At least that's how mine works. And then I'm just going to put it in this corner right here, position it, you know, nice, how you, how you might like it. Maybe I want it a little bit more rotated uh, that way. Just so we have a little bit more curvature. There we go. Perfect. And now what we are going to do, which is going to finally wrap together the whole effect is we're just going to hit the 3D icon, the little square, this cube, this cube icon right here. And you're going to see it's linked now to this 3D camera tracker icon. And if you play it back, Ta-da, it is perfectly positioned in the sky, but there is still obviously that that big giant black box around it. So to fix that, we're just going to come over here to layer and then we're going to scroll down to blending mode and we're going to hit screen. Now, ta-da, you can see we have a nice planet floating in the sky and it honestly looks pretty decent. So you, as you can see, we can just drag it to pretty much anywhere we like and it works perfectly. But now there might be a few case scenarios just because um, for me, this clip worked out really nicely just because there's not a lot of movement and his arms aren't obstructing the image. For say your planet was a different planet, I'm gonna drag in the Death Star right here. I'm gonna hit the cube icon to 3D track it and then just scale it down to where I want it to be. And let's just put it there for now. We're gonna hit layer, blending mode and screen. So let's say for example, this is your clip and your subject's arms go in front of the planet, which is in the background and obviously creates a sort of dilemma going on right here when you know their hand comes in front of the, the planet because that you know that shouldn't happen. What we can easily do to fix this is just simply rotoscope it. So what we're gonna do is we are going to create a duplicate layer of our bottom layer, hit command D to do that. We're gonna drag the top layer on top and then I'm just going to go ahead and delete this camera tracker because uh, we don't need it on the top layer. And what we're going to do is we're gonna double clip the top layer and we are going to hit the roto brush icon and we're just going to roto brush our subject. Now, if you don't know how to roto brush, it's very simple. We have a lot of tutorials on that, but that's just pretty much how you do it. And once you have your rotoscope subject in front, just leave the layer as is and you'll have your subject mask out in front of the planet. And just like that, there we have it. It's a very, very simple effect. But before we head out, just remember a key thing about this effect is light. This whole effect centers around light. So making sure that you have the correct opacity, blend mode. There's so many blend modes over here and just make sure you have the right one to create the best effect. You know, every scene is different. Your videos are different from mine. So, you know, just mess around with it, have fun with it, make it your own. And with that, here is the final result. If 
you guys made seeing this tutorial. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope after this you can walk away with an effect that you can use for your future music videos and projects. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe with notification bell on. If you had any questions or concerns throughout the tutorial, please be sure to leave a comment down below. I always love to hear what you guys have to say. And also make sure to follow us on Instagram at 11%prod. Once again, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.